China and Cambodia have signed new deals on human resources and infrastructure. The agreements were signed during the meeting of China-Cambodia Intergovernmental Coordination Committee, co-chaired by Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi and Cambodian Deputy Prime Minister Ho Nam Hong. Wang Yi addressed the meeting today, calling for more cooperation in agriculture, economy, trade, belt and road projects, and the fight against COVID-19. He also urged both sides to strengthen coordination in multilateral affairs, adhere to the ASEAN-led regional cooperation framework, and reject any attempts to turn the East Asia cooperation platform into an arena for major powers to play games. Wang paid a 10-day visit to ASEAN countries. He said the trip aimed to strengthen China's strategic coordination with its neighbors. It is true that there are having a lot of activities and we've had in-depth communication with the foreign ministers of major countries. But the focus is to strengthen our strategic coordination with our neighbors. This is because we're all aware that our region should not be thrown into chaos. We should not create confrontation between major powers and different camps or let the Cold War mentality prevail. We should work together to uphold the hard-won peace and development in our region. So I think our common position and our common voice is to uphold open regionalism, advocate true multilateralism and uphold effective regional cooperation with ASEAN at its core. At the same time, through multilateral meetings, we will strengthen our solidarity and coordination, make our voice heard and put forward our proposals and enable Asia to play a more active and important role in today's turbulent and volatile world.